Hey guys, it's me, Brian, and I'm coming at you again with another trade review. Um, this time it's going to be a Image Comics uh, Proof Volume One. This is by Alexander Gresham and Riley Rossimo. Um, Alexander Gresham did the scripts and letters. Riley Rossimo did the art and colors, and Tyler Jenkins helped some on the colors. Um, this book follows a girl named Ginger Brown who um, is in a bank one day and the bank get ro the, the bank gets robbed. I can't even talk. Um, and out of nowhere a golem just tears up the place and takes everybody out and she sees it and she's not supposed to. And she gets picked up by the government and put on a special agent task force called the Lodge. And she meets um, her partner, which just happens to turn out to be John Proofrock, or Proof for short, Sasquatch. Um, and... John Proofrock, or Proof for short, gets tasked with finding a Chupacabra, which is otherwise known as the Mexican Bigfoot. And he thinks it's part of his family, so he's really excited to find this creature. Um, starting, starting off... You got this really long forward in the book. Oops. Right here and it uh goes on over to the next page. Um that's written by uh Alexander Gresham and you get the feeling that he really cares about this subject like it's not just um, a bunch of nonsense that he's writing about. You really get a sense of him, um, actually caring for Bigfoot, um, the Chupacabra, um, fairies, and all this other cryptid type stuff. Um, if you're into that kind of thing like I am, you know, with my background of being an investigator, um, this was just right up my alley. You know, it, it was awesome. It was different. If you're tired of all the superhero stuff, um, especially um, Marvel and DC starting over, well, not DC, but Marvel starting over. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. All the changes that are going on right now. If you're looking for something different, please pick this up. I can't say this enough. This book was amazing. It was a $10 trade. Um, on cheap graphic novels, I think it was six. There's five issues in here. So, even if you don't like it, you're not spending that much money. If you like it, then great, you know. Um... As far as the art goes, uh, it took me a little bit to get used to it. Um, but a couple pages in, I, I got used to it and I fell in love with the art. Um, let's see if I can find a good page really quick. Um, the art is kind of sketchy. Um, which is my type of art, so of course I would love it, but it, um, here we go. Here's a nice big splash page. If I can get the glare off of it some. There's proof. Um, you see how it's kind of sketchy?
Anyway, um, it reminds me a lot of Jeff Stokely's artwork. Um, Jeff Stokely done um, the reasons for Dragon for Arcadia, among many things. Um, so if you like his artwork, it reminds me um, very much of his artwork. Um, this book was just awesome from beginning to end. You know, it's kind of like X-Files in a way. Um, so if you're a fan of X-Files or anything to do with the unknown, you will love this book. Um, I can't say that enough. Go get it. It's amazing. And there's five more volumes or six all together. And I can't wait to read the rest of them. So, with that, guys, um, I'm finished with this review. So, go pick this up now. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Love y'all. God bless.